All right, we're in downtown Portland. Just taking a look. Don't know where everything is here yet. We're on 6th Street. Um, and just kind of looking around, Oops. see what it looks I like. I just ran a red. <laughs> um, so, it's melting pot. Let's see what that looks like. Looks like what is what street is this here? Uh, Morrison Street. So we're over here. Yeah, that's got a downtown feel. Um, got some street cars here. street named after Harvey Milk right here. Don't get very get here very often but um just because of the pandemic and all the stuff that's been going on really this hasn't been a place that a lot of people have gone to lately. But we did go to a restaurant not far from here where it has a nice view of the the river and the city. Let's see what street is this? Sixth Avenue here. So we're gonna head into this area. This is the area where kind of like more of the homeless and hang out over here. Um, there's some tents. Uh, this is Burnside, so this will go eventually across the, the river to the other side of Portland. Um, but this area here has a few gay clubs. Burnside here. So you can see Silverado, this is a, a club. tents. I don't know how they can handle the cold here in the winter, but um, they're here. side uh, is more where we hang out and but right now it's just kind of kind of mellow kind of dead quiet because it's really it's not it's only 12 25 in the in the afternoon not a whole lot of stuff going on at night a little more action a little more people out here
What is this? Pacific Northwest College of Art. So it says here. So it looks like an art college. Yeah, this looks a bit more like homeless encampments over here. I bet it's a tiny home community for homeless. I don't know what this is. In there, it's gotta be. Probably. So as we head up this street, if you go further up, it actually is a nicer neighborhood. You got more like um, the hills. You can see the hills up there. There you have, you know, higher income housing. Up here, uh, or down over here, it's, you know, as you get away from the center, then you get into a little, little more nicer area. So it's not a big city, not a big downtown, but you know, it's got its nice areas and it's got its bad areas like every other place. Not not too dramatic. I mean, I don't see, I mean, it's, 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 there are some bad areas. East Portland, actually, Northeast Portland is the more violent area. Oh, down, down, downtown's more like just homeless and stuff like that. Um, drug addicts, you'll see some violence here, but it's not as bad. Northeast Portland is where all the violence and the shooting happens most of the time. This area's just, you know, not as nice as it used to be, but I'm not a Portlander, so we just moved here, don't, don't know what it used to be like. People say it was nicer, I don't know. Um, but, you know, just a mellow day. Not a lot of things going on here today. Very, seem very chill. After this, make a left turn. What is this here? Happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. Got all this stuff going on. It's for lease, so this place is closed down, whatever this was. Some new buildings being built here. Or maybe that's a new, that's an existing building. Oh, it looks like it's a new. There's new buildings over there being built. Construction right there. I don't know, maybe like 10 blocks, maybe he's downtown Portland, like 10 by 10 maybe, what do you think, yeah, something like that. So where we're heading to right now, and this sign tells you right there, it's the Pearl District. So Pearl District is this area right here where the Peruvian restaurant we went to the other day called Andina is located. It's a very good Peruvian restaurant. Um, good food, nice vibe. Um, so like I said, this part of Portland, this downtown part of Portland, the first few blocks here uh, from this side is, is decent. And then when you get closer to Burnside Bridge, then it gets kind of like homeless and stuff. But, you know, within the same area, it goes from like decent area to then not so nice. And within a block or two. So it's kind of weird.
So this is where, I guess once you cross Broadway into what we call like, I guess the Chinese area, Chinese gardens they call it, that's where it turns into like, kind of like homeless central. Um, it's worse at nighttime because of course that's when they all come out. So right now it looks pretty mellow, it's not that bad. And towards the evening it gets more kind of shady. I think also the cold, the cold weather is the people, some people inside their tents look like to them. The streets aren't big here, so there's um, it's just kind of weird. It's like you get little traffic jams when there's very few cars out here, just because there's not a whole lot of room. lanterns like on the, the light posts so I guess this is the Chinatown area of Portland not a big one but you know it's a small little Chinatown um, Chinatown here and you see how it is I mean like you know you got a little nice garden here a um, little Chinese thing and then you got the homeless right here across the street you know tents so, there's an ambulance here. I don't know if they're getting coffee or they're picking up somebody. So, it's a little Chinatown. And then, when you cross the area, then it, you know, you go to the other side of Burnside, then it's kind of like proper downtown. So, this part is, you know, like small little area and then you get out of this area and then it goes into the actual downtown which is just across Burnside so I actually thought it was gonna be worse um, but it isn't that bad actually right now um, and I'm assuming because of the cold weather, a lot of the homeless probably went into some kind of a housing for the winter. I think the city has some programs where they are, they try to house some of the homeless um, and get them indoors so they don't freeze to death. So I think, you know, when I came here a few months ago, there were a lot more people on the street. And now it just seems there's a lot less um, homeless of the winter weather so that's probably the reason why it's not, it doesn't look like it's that crowded so here's Harvey Wilk Street and there's a lot of these street food like truck thingies right here Food trucks, really popular. People come here to eat, buy some food. Those are all over the city. I mean, in different neighborhoods, you'll find those. When you're hungry, you can just go there real quick and get something to eat. So, so you know, it's got like a little bit of a San Francisco feel, this, this part right here. to the area where all the protests were. It's mellow now, but not, not at the time. So this area right here, this is the courthouse, United States courthouse. And this is where 
all the protests were happening in this park right here. So see how it's all fenced up still? Um, so when they were protesting, they were all up here. And now there's nobody here, but it's still, you know, looking pretty dismal. Um, not a whole lot of things going on. It's a really nice park right across um, from it, but you know, no one's there right now. But this is where the homeless, I mean, the, the protests were at this courthouse and federal buildings right here too. So, you know, mellow now, not a whole lot going on. No one's protesting in this cold weather. Uh, but if something happens again over the summer, I'm sure there'll be more protests. Hopefully not, but this is the area. So that's a quick view of the downtown Portland area, the heart of downtown. Um, and then we're heading out of here. Not a whole lot to see today.